The teddy bears have their picnic and hippies have the winter solstice. An old school bike enthusiast? Well, they have the AMCA Antique Motorcycle Weekend at Bulleye. And what a weekend it is. In its third year now, we were lucky enough to get along and check it out. Perched under the mountain and within sight of the coast, Black Pack used this event to showcase a new range of classic motorcycling themed polos, as well as our usual menu of motoring apparel goodness that is also available online. The AMCA is the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, and the AMCA Australia is the Australian chapter of that club. The mothership was established by a group of enthusiasts from New England back in 1954, which according to the AMCA website, has subsequently grown to a membership of more than 69 chapters in the US and an ever-growing number of affiliate clubs worldwide. Putting on this annual national meet is the primary aim of AMCA Australia, an event where all makes and models of vintage and classic bikes are welcome and promoted. Now, if you know what this is, and if you drank this, or this, watch this, and thought she, or he, were hot, then there's a very good chance you were around in 1984. And that, according to the AMCA rules governing the rubric of antiquity, will get you across the line as an antique. If you're a motorcycle, of course. The event, well, it's legit, and the organisers are at a pain to ensure the integrity and the essence of the event is preserved. For example, the weekend boasts a cracking swap meet that has quality parts for genuine antique motorcycles. This year, they had a very special attraction in the form of genuine motorcycling history. A history that you could see, hear and smell, but with a price tag of 920,000 US dollars, probably best one you not touch. Jack Errett's famous 1951 Vincent Black Lightning. Vincent's early speed record pedigree is undeniable, and Errett's 1953 Australian land speed record in Gunnedah is every bit as iconic as Rolly Free's 1948 effort at Bonneville. Lighter and faster than the Black Shadow, and built purely for racing, the bike was one of about 30 odd Black Lightnings ever made, and in 2018 it sold for a record amount at the Bonhams auction in Las Vegas. Adding to the occasion, Jack Errett's son, John, was on hand to deliver a keynote presentation of the record-breaking exploits of the man and the machine. In keeping with the theme, the Bulleye event also includes a Butte Vintage motorcycle auction. Proceedings were facilitated by Manshed Auctions, and whilst the bidding didn't demand the eye-watering sums of the Errett Vincent, there was nonetheless a collection of bikes under the hammer at price points that still ensured that the bidding hall was a less than desirable environment for anyone with a nervous disposition given to involuntary twitches. Reinforcing the axiom that every day is a school day, a feature of the weekend is a series of technical seminars. The breadth of bike related subjects are only matched by the depth of knowledge displayed by the presenters. Topics range from metal repairs and fabrication, prepping of vintage bikes for storage, through to 3D modelling and motorcycle photography. No one is too cool for this school and you will definitely leave smarter. After all this, if you still find yourself with any time on your hands, a meander through the People's Choice Award area is just the thing. But if you're anything like us, you'll probably drive yourself borderline crazy trying to decide what you will vote for. We had a great time. The AMCA Antique Motorcycle Weekend at Bulleye, it ticks all the boxes and carries a great vibe. So if you own, restore, preserve, study, or just plain dig antique motorcycles and you haven't yet gone to the AMCA Australia event, you've got to get there in 2020, period. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our site at www.blackpack.com.au and catch up with our blogs and all our other videos. Until next time, keep it pinned.